coming out soon. And these GPUs in particular are going to be the 9070 and the 9070 XT. Unfortunately, we're not getting 9080 or 9090 series. We're not getting like a 7900 XTX variant or anything like that. So it's going to be competing more at that 5070 level range. 5070, 5070 Ti is the presumed range. We do have full specifications for it now, at least rumored ones. And they seem to be pretty solid as far as rumors go. Um, and so they're here. It will be on the four nanometer manufacturing process. It's already in A4. We're going to have boost clocks up to 2,970 on the 9070 XT, 2,520 on the 9070. And then if we go down from there, obviously from our perspective as miners, we're always interested in memory. And the biggest disappointment, of course, on the memory side of things for the 9070 is going to be that we're stuck with GDDR6. Now people are saying, well, they have a 256-bit bus and the 5070 only has a 192-bit bus, but the 5070 Ti has a 256-bit bus and the memory is running much faster. So if you look at specifications as far as total bandwidth, memory bandwidth on these GPUs, right? Um, if we look at that, it's 624 gigabytes a second in total bandwidth on the 9070. And that's going to be the same on the 9070 XT because it's the exact same memory configuration. Unfortunately, what that means is this is even slower than the 192-bit bus 5070 with the GDDR7. So the GDDR7 on there, right? If we pick that up, let's go ahead and do uh, 5070 uh, specifications for you guys. I believe, I thought I had this pulled up, but we'll go ahead and pull it up again. Here it is. Um, right now, the bandwidth is 672 gigabytes a second of bandwidth. So even the 5070 will be beating out the 9070 XT just thanks to the faster memory speed, right? Because it's significantly faster at 28 gigabyte, gigabits per second effective on the memory clock. And as we know, GDDR7 is running much cooler than GDDR6 and it's overclocking much better. So Really, in all honesty, we're probably going to see this more in the seven to 800 gigabytes a second range, depending on the make, model, cooling, all that sort of stuff. 5070 is probably going to outmine the 9070 on everything except for Ravencoin so or Kapow algorithms. So really what we're going to be looking at in general is going to be 9070 performance on that. Now, what am I expecting? Well, I'm expecting... 7900 XT performance on Kapow, but at a lower power. And the reason for that, of course, is going to be that we are seeing estimates of that, that range, right? So if we wanted to look at, I would give you the memory, you know, prediction, which we could do as always, excuse those alerts, but if we went to hashrate.no, right, and we pulled up, uh, let's just pull up a 7800 XT, this will work, right? And we looked at something like, um, let's say, let's just get our ergo hash rate going here. Yeah, so 129 mega hash a second, right? If we look at the 7800 XT specs, let's pull these up. Um, boom, boom. The bandwidth on this particular model is going to be the same 624. Um, what we do get though, is that the power consumption on this one in particular, is the TDP is 263 watts. Whereas on the 9070, uh, the power consumption is 220. So you get a 40 watt drop, right? Um, so about a 20% decrease. So that does mean that from the ergo perspective, we will see a, a little bit more efficient version of the 7800 XT in mining ergo. But the real question, of course, is like, what is it going to do? on Ravencoin. And the big pump up here uh, obviously is going to be the fact that we have uh, a better core performance in this particular case. 
And this is a much difficult, much more difficult one to predict. This will be the first time that I've ever tried to predict something like this. But because the memory configuration is the same as the 7800 XT, all we really have to figure out is the performance delta on the uh, on the uh, clock, uh, basically on the performance speed side of things, right? So, uh, f as far as teraflops, right? So. If we're going to look at that and run a percent calculator, we can maybe get closer, right? So, so 7800 XT is that that's already in a 3.0, so and it's a five nanometers. So that's going to be the hard part is we can't get performance number to performance number. But let's say we just run this off of our pixel rate, so the 241. Um, versus the 233 is what we're going to run. So we're going to say 241 to 233, and we're going to calculate out the percent change in that. So it'd be 103%. So I'm not expecting a huge gain in this, right? Maybe we could say it's the FP or the texture rate or one of those. Maybe we could go with, I think FP32 float would probably be the best bet but I think we're going to get similar numbers, right? So, well, actually, yeah. So the F, the FP32 float, that's 20 versus the 30. Yeah, no, I think it's going to be closer to pixel rate because we want performance. We want core performance, right? Yeah, so let's go ahead and run this. If we do that with the 34, then we would see... Yeah, I, I don't think, like, we're going to see, I think, honestly, it's going to be extremely disappointing. Yeah, I think it's going to be around that 35 to 40 mega hash a second on Ravencoin, if I had to take a guess. That's going to be my prediction right now. I think it's going to be disappointing. Now, I did think it could get closer to the 7900 XT. And in that case, let's go ahead and just make sure Let's look at the 7900 XT. And the reason I say that is right now in games, it is looking to sometimes trade blows with the 7900 XT. And if that's going to be the case, I think, what is that? It's still going to be in the 40 range, right? On Kapow? Yeah, 48 mega hash a second. So let's say it falls somewhere. Oh, and that was the 9070, right? So the 9070 XT is the one that's going to compete there. Um... And so the 9070 would be between 35 and 40 mega hash a second, which means, yeah, it's viable, I think, for the 9070 XT. Let's go ahead and see if the specifications are here for that. We had that over here, right? Pixel fill rate. Uh, but that's the pixel fill rate. Okay, so let's see. We would go up in... Let's pull it over here, XT. Let's give us the same number so we can really see where we're at. Um, that would be the 285. So 285 to the... ...233. Yeah, so the... X or the XT is going to perform a lot better. So this does seem right. So that would be 122% of 34. Calculate that out. That would be at 41. So my guesstimate was about right, right? 40 to 45 mega hash a second on the 9070 XT that falls in line with the 7900 XT performance expectations of the 9070 XT. So that's what we're going to be seeing, I think. And as always, I think the, the memory configuration style, like that's going to fall. AMD is going to still be, or NVIDIA is still going to be king for mining for the most part. And the 6000 series is going to be the king, I, I think, still for Ravencoin and Kapow coins. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to take a bio break and then we're going to run it back up with the, uh, I think at this point we're going to get into testing the 5080. Why is that not playing? 
I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. If you'd like to see more from this particular episode, take a look up here. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me directly, you can go to sonofatech.locals.com and become a member. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next Tuesday.